What's up cruise fans, my name is Bram and I welcome you to the Norwegian Prima for a full day of exploring the ship. Get ready for a lot of Prima, a lot of Prima food and some Prima issues. You see, I'm not here to sell cruisers, my focus is on sharing the experience. I'll let you be the judge of what's good or bad. I have no profit in influencing, as a matter of fact, I hate that word. So bear with me for a minute as I wake up and I try to digest what's going on. Welcome to Bram Sees the Day. Okay. Where did Amsterdam go? I'm confused. Okay, so, a morning. Obviously, Amsterdam didn't go anywhere, but. But obviously we went somewhere. These these itinerary changes, man. Why do I never know about them? Guess what? We're not in Amsterdam anymore. Itinerary clearly said overnight in Amsterdam and leaving Amsterdam 3.30 a.m on Monday morning so on the night of Sunday to Monday now either I slept for a night a day and another night either I slept for 32 hours or no okay we we left last night Okay, so I'm not taking you to Amsterdam. And they're not taking me to Amsterdam either. Okay, gotta figure out today. Okay, more awake now. Um, also, obviously, there was a itinerary change. Well, slightly. That, once again, we didn't know of. Um, nevertheless, breakfast. Breakfast, no matter what. And for breakfast, we're going to the uh, restaurant. So the sit, oh my God, sit down, sit down breakfast at Hudson's restaurant. Coming right up. Let's keep the camera running as we walk deck seven front to back. You figured out my first prima issue of the day, not being informed about an itinerary change. But it is what it is. We're in the Penrose atrium forward with Starbucks on my right walking past a shopping area. The flashing lights are a result of my camera settings, so don't worry. This is not the case in real life. <laughs> to the right is my number one spot on board Sid Normans and to the left is the comedy club Improv at Sea. Moving right along we walk through the Metropolitan Bar which to me looks off but I haven't figured out why yet. It feels like it's missing one or some things but we'll have to come back for drinks to experience the vibe properly. Maybe it's because of the aisle alongside it, but it keeps reminding me of a subway station for some reason. Uh, a really fancy one that serves alcohol and has a cigar bar. Anyway, we'll get back to that. Next up is Nama for sushi and sashimi and on the other side is Hasuki, the hibachi restaurant. And finally Hudson's, all the way aft on deck 7. This marching voyage made me hungry. Time for some food. Everybody friends. This table, please. Follow my colleague. Hello. Good yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> no, this is sunrise, we go sunset. <laughs> Good morning. When it comes to consumption and ingestion of food, 
The human species are a remarkable breed. If presented in an unlimited manner, they tend to push their boundaries. Bram Sees the Day is no different. On today's episode, you will witness nutrition intake at its best. Bram will save the buffet for lunchtime and is starting his quest at Hudson's, the ship's main dining room. Tonight's location will be the food court called Indulge, and for the nocturnal ones among you, stay stationary, as the night will bring us Donna Summer's musical Summer, followed by the transition of the Prima Theater into a Vegas-style nightclub. But first, breakfast. Yeah. I am. I like some, uh, you're not ready yet. No, I'm not ready yet. Any food allergies? No. Like the steak and eggs, please. Any starter fish? Yeah. How do you want your eggs? Sir? Uh, sunny side up. How about the steak? Uh, rare, please. Rare. Thank you. No one. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Okay, I'd like fruit salads and uh, eggs benedict. Yeah. Yes, and some uh, croissants as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just with the sharper one. Don't play with it. Thank you. <laughs> I have said it before, but Thank as you. you can tell, this main dining room is simply beautiful. Any time of the day. To me, this is the most elegant, classy, stylish and sophisticated main dining room of any cruise ship. Floor to ceiling, I love it. And the NCL Prima has a lot of those areas. Let's go check out the observation lounge on deck 17 forward. Okay, so my wife has headed to the uh, observation lounge and uh, for all you smokers out there, let me show you what you get on the NCL Prima. If you're a smoker, a luxurious smoking lounge on NCL Prima. I think Norwegian cruise lines clearly don't want you I wouldn't call this a uh, non-smoking cruise, but it's getting pretty close. Behold, the smoking corner. I, I know, that's it. Oh, trust me, that's it. No chairs, no tables, no nothing. A couple of ashtrays and a roped up area, roped off area for smoking. They don't want you to stay around. They want you to get your nicotine and get out. Galaxy Pavilion.
will be in there. I will share. Please folks, try not to flood the comment section with a debate on smoking. It's bad. Every smoker is aware of that. The point I was trying to make is that they should be able to sit and relax. Maybe even some shelter from the wind and rain. If they can create a fancy lounge for cigar smokers with leather couches, they could add some metal chairs and tables and a roof. But some inside information for you. They forgot. They forgot to add a smoking section. So that was some last minute creativity. Two ropes and two ashtrays. Now back to the good part. The designers definitely thought about this design. The perfect spot to do some reading or to stare at the ocean and relax. That's exactly what I'll do for the next two hours. I'll see you at lunch. Same deck but midship is the garden buffet. Let's explore and of course, let's eat some more. Hi, how are you? I got it. Okay, hands up, baby, hands up, baby, your love. You have a song for every sentence? <laughs> yeah, because this one is not working. Yeah. <laughs> Again folks, try to ignore the flashing lights. I know it's pretty much impossible, especially if I keep pointing it out to you, but I feel terrible. My apologies. It's amateur hour with Bram sees a day. There was no way of fixing this in post-production. Trust me, I've tried everything. Let's focus on the food. I went to Italy. common comment I hear is that the buffet area is too small. My guess is that it's about one third of the space compared to the breakaway class ships. I think they put the other two thirds and indulge the food court. But cruisers will always like their classic buffet. So this place can get very busy. Keep that in mind. They did separate the grill area, which is a lot quieter. Probably because they added blinds to the windows looking out to the Vibe Beach Club. Now, if I was relaxing and Vibe, I wouldn't want people staring at my neck. But eating a burger, I would like to look out. So I get it from both perspectives. Back in the main buffet area, I'm abruptly stopped by the dessert section. It keeps calling my name. Has this ever happened to you? It's like... We're over here, we're over here. Yeah, well, all right, all right. Ignore the flashing lights. 
coffee. So, melon and a strawberry cake to wrap up this lunch. And to wrap up this buffet, I want to share my review. The overall space is well designed. I like the combination of low and high tables, but while I'm here, I keep noticing the high chairs make a lot of noise when pushed in or out. Small details, yes, but bad enough for me to mention. The obvious problem is the size. It feels crowded, because it is. The food, on the other hand, exceeded my expectations. Although I've never been disappointed in an NCL buffet, this felt and tasted one step up. The hot food was hot and the cold stuff was cold. I believe that a smaller buffet improves the food quality. My lunch here proved that. Desiree is not a dessert person. A line she uses every time she's having dessert. I think on our last cruise together, she said, I'm not a dessert person about four minutes before she ordered three desserts. <laughs> Why not, right? It's that cruise life, and cruise pounds don't count. Remember that. Now, before we get out of here, I just want to check if the soft surf ice cream machine is up and running. It's been three years since I was able to surf myself, and I'm very good at it. <laughs> Oh, yes, it is. Well, why not? Well, I'm here. I think it's like riding a bicycle. Behold, a master at work. Time for me to get back to the room and get a couple of hours of editing done. I paid a lot of money for streaming internet and I hope to get a vlog out there. And in all honesty, I need to let today's food settle before I get ready for an evening on board with more food. And the weather isn't inviting enough to stay out here anyway. The hot tub, maybe? No, the room it is. After three hours of calling the Wi-Fi all possible bad names for not doing what I was told it would, I surrender. Time for a shower, which I will not share. Just a small town girl living in a lovely world. She took the midnight train up in Bandy Way. Just a simple boy, born and raised in self-control. He took the midnight train.
evening has come on the Norwegian Prima. I'm meeting my wife at the, uh, what's it called, the Belvedere Bar. Check it out. Looks nice. Belvedere bar, check. Uh, upright. On eight. And next is the indulge food bar. It's by far the newest thing. On the I wanted to say that it's by far the newest thing by Norwegian Cruise Line, so I'm excited to see what it's like. Walking past the local, all the way aft, you'll reach Indulge. If this concept is also completely new to you, I hope you'll find answers to all your questions in the next 10 minutes. Like I said before, this area is a food court. Different stations specialize in different kinds of food. All of this is included except for Starbucks and Coco's. But Coco's also has an included part on offer. I'll add some menus as we go along to give you an idea of what to expect. They're lunch menus, but not that different from the dinner offerings. We're wandering around to get a feeling of what's out here first. As you walk in to my right is Tamara for Indian. Right across is Coco's for desserts, ice cream and milkshakes. Next on our path is noodles for <laughs> noodles with an individual ice cream station up next. And a bar all the way aft called the Soleil Bar. This bar also has an outside version which we can check out on a warmer day. Right next to that are two food trucks for tapas and Latin dishes and the dessert station. To the right is the garden for soups and salads and right along Starbucks to my left. Good. Behind that is a seaside rotisserie for chicken, pork kebab and so on. Now you don't have to go to every individual station to order the food there. You can sit anywhere you want, inside or out, and order from a tablet. So no need to get in line. And it's not buffet style, the food is not laid out, it's cooked to order by the individual chefs. However. If you're here for one specific style of dining, you have the option of sitting at the bar from a station itself and watch them cook it for you. In this case, you're limited to ordering only from their menu. But what about drinks? And how quickly is your order served? What sizes are the dishes? Enough questions, let's find out. 
Right past the Q Texas Smokehouse, we find what we believe is the perfect spot. It felt like I was physically walking through a menu. I definitely worked up an appetite. Okay, let's let's figure this out. Yes. Nathan, how are you? <laughs> so for the food, no need to use the card. Okay, no, yeah. only uh, for the drinks. Okay. okay. So, uh, for the drink package. Yeah. So you tap it and yes. then you order. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Order is gone. That's uh, it goes already. Okay, so perfect. Now, now if you go for yes, and order. Order and what else? That's it. Here. Okay, and uh, tap that. Oh yeah. Then next. Ah, okay. Yeah. But this one is you don't pay. It's already packaged. You need only this one only for the inventory purposes. Okay. okay. So you just. Signature, yes, and they will ask your dirt a year, uh, year of birth. Yes, that's it. Ah, okay. What threw us off is that when putting in a drink order, it's listing a price. But we, like most people, I presume, have a drinking package, so we shouldn't be charged. But we're not. Although it states a price, you won't be charged if you have the package. And as I'm figuring this out, I just ordered a Coke. I wasn't planning on drinking Coke. But I am now, I guess. By the way, another Prima thing on the Prima is transitioning of NCL from Pepsi products to Coca-Cola products. Being part of the Pepsi minority myself, I must admit, it's no big deal for me. By the end of the year, all ships will be Coca-Cola. So you have some time to book or cancel your cruise because of this. Oh, grrr. Perhaps the day continues right after this. Don't go anywhere. I'll take a Coke. Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Ow! Are puppies okay? Is a shooting star okay? Is the laughter of a small child okay? Pepsi's more than okay! It's okay! okay. Okay, what have we learned today? You want a Pepsi? I want a Pepsi. There you go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I've got to come up with my own catchphrase. Okay!
If you're new to this channel, sorry if I disappoint you while eating. If you were expecting close-ups of me shoving the food in my mouth and reacting with mmm and ah, I don't do this. If a dish is not good, you'll know, and if it's exceptionally, you'll notice. But I don't see the face value of mmms and ahs. I really don't. Moving on, I'll squeeze in one more dessert before we go. A fruit tart called my name when I was walking by earlier, so I have to go find it. I had to do it. And another prima thing on this prima vlog is me refusing to share with Desiree. Besides the fact that she is a self-proclaimed non-dessert person, she still wants to taste it every time. But I'm not gonna eat the whole one. Well, tell you what, go grab another one. Get one bite and I'll finish what's left. I'm taking a stand here, standing up for my civil rights as a cruiser not to share my fruit tart. No more, it's mine. Next. Okay, time for today's main event, the Donna Summer Musical. Time to get our disco groove on. On a full stomach, so it will be a sit down disco groove. Welcome to the Prima Theatre. Right now I'm trying to imagine what this place will be like as a nightclub. Because right after the show this will be transformed. There's a system that will pull in all the seats and everything below should turn into a dance floor. Hard to imagine now but we'll both find out very soon. I'll do my best to capture how this works. And I'll share bits and pieces of the musical so you have an idea of what to expect. If you've been on NCL before, you know these shows are the best at sea. This, of course, contains copyrighted music. So I welcome you to another episode of After Hours with Ramsey's Day. 
and spoiler alert, you'll see me dancing on stage and we'll meet up with Jay from Ship Life for some of his great dancing moves on the dance floor. I'll share a link to that video right here, but before we do, I must express my gratitude to you, the viewer. Thank you for once again spending your time here with us, and I hope you look forward to the next vlogs as much as I do. If you're considering subscribing, please do. It tells YouTube I'm creating fun videos, and they will spread my work to more people. I've seen viewers post my videos in Facebook groups, and boy, you're helping me a lot. It's all very humbling. But above all, I need to thank you for watching. Allow me to remind you to please hit that like button. It's highly appreciated.